Hello and welcome to Evening Prayer on this Tuesday of the fourth week of Easter. And we continue our journey through the Acts of the Apostles. And we see Peter and the other apostles uh, being amazed at the growth of the church as they traveled around the area and just kept finding more and more people coming to understand the presence of Jesus in the world. And, and uh, uh, they were noticing as these people were coming into the faith, they could see a change in, in the people, in their, their uh, demeanor, their behavior. And it was just a, a sight to behold and, and just a wondrous gift for the world to see all of these new people uh, coming into uh, having a relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, as they were in Antioch, uh, they heard for the first time themselves being referred to as Christians. This was the first time the word Christian was used in reference to the apostles and all of the people that were following them. They used to be called uh, followers of the way. You remember Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. And that's what they, his followers were called, followers of the way. But now, uh, as it grew and grew, and they started here, uh, as we hear in today's first reading, uh, referred to as Christians. And then in the gospel, uh, we hear again Jesus talking about sheep and shepherds and uh, talking to the Jews who were demanding still more evidence, more signs. And uh, they said, just, just show us. And he says, I've shown you and you don't believe. I've told you, you don't believe. You know, you've seen signs that I've worked through the power of my father who is above all and you haven't believed. So what, you know, this, he talked about that you're not part of my sheep because my sheep hear my voice. And then most important, you know, if we, we hear the voice of Jesus in our own lives, you know, we're, we are Christians, right? And we're supposed to be uh, followers of Christ. So we have to be able to hear his voice, recognize it, recognize the voice of the Lord in our life. And then the most important part, like the sheep would do, they would follow. They, they, they knew the footsteps of the shepherd and they would follow him. So we're called also to follow in the footsteps of Christ. And so here we are 2,000 years later and we are called Christian still to this day. Now a Christian is someone who follows the laws and the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we have to remember that the most important law that he gave us as Christians to follow is that law of love. We have to be recognized as Christians by what we do by the loving way that we live our lives. Loving God, and loving each other. So let us pray today as we do our evening prayer that we are recognized by our love, recognized by our life, by our faith, and people can look at us and see Christ. Now that's, uh, that's a beautiful thing to be able to be seen as the light of the one true God in this world. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sing for us one of Zion's songs, Alleluia. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat and wept, remembering Zion, 
on the poplars that grew there, we hung up our harps. For it was there that they asked us, our captors, for songs, our oppressors for joy. Sing to us, they said, one of Zion's songs. Oh, how could we sing the song of the Lord on alien soil? If I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. Oh, let my tongue cleave to my mouth if I remember you not. If I prize not Jerusalem above all my joys. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, remember your pilgrim church. We sit weeping at the streams of Babylon. Do not let us be drawn into the current of the passing world, but free us from every evil and raise our thoughts to the heavenly Jerusalem. Sing for us one of Zion's songs. Alleluia. Though I am surrounded by affliction, you preserve my life. Alleluia. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered. You increased my strength. You increased the strength of my soul. All earth's kings shall thank you when they hear the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the Lord's ways. How great is the glory of the Lord. The Lord is high, yet he looks on the lowly, and the haughty he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of affliction, you give me life and frustrate my foes. You stretch out your hand and save me. Your hand will do all things for me. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Listen to the prayers of your church, Lord God. In the presence of the angels, we praise your name. You keep the proud at a distance, and look upon the lowly with favor. Stretch out your hand to us in our suffering. Perfect in us the work of your love and bring us to life. Though I am surrounded by affliction, you preserve my life. Alleluia. Yours, O Lord, is majesty and power, glory and triumph. Alleluia. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain, to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Yours, O Lord, is majesty and power, glory and triumph. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Come to the Lord, a living stone, rejected by men, but approved nonetheless, and precious in God's eyes. You too are living stones, built as an edifice of spirit into a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable, acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia, when they saw the risen Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. I know my sheep, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, Alleluia. 
My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I know my sheep, and they follow me. I give them eternal life. Alleluia. By his resurrection, Christ has given sure hope to his people. Let us ask him with our whole hearts. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, from your wounded side flowed blood and water. Make the church your spotless bride. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. Chief Shepherd, after your resurrection, you made Peter shepherd of your flock when he professed his love for you. Increase from day to day the love and devotion of Francis, our Pope. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. You showed your disciples how to make a great catch of fish. Send others to continue their work as fishers of men. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. <coughs> At the lakeside, you prepared bread and fish for your disciples. Grant that we may never allow others to die of hunger. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. Jesus, the new Adam and life-giving spirit, transform the dead into your own likeness, that the fullness of your joy may be theirs. Lord Jesus, you live forever. Hear our prayer. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us pray the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty God, as we celebrate the resurrection, may we share with each other the joy the risen Christ has won for us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless you all. Have a wonderful night, and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow.